two key options to tap into your equity. It's what we call the refinance or the home equity line of credit or HELOC. The difference is in a refinance, you get a whole new mortgage. In a refinance, you restart your mortgage. So, if you had been paying this house off over the last 10 years, you built this equity, if you were to refinance, you now will start with a whole new 30-year mortgage, or 40-year mortgage, or 15-year mortgage, or whatever term, remember term at the time, whatever term you agree to. But it's a whole new mortgage, right? So what happens is this. Well, I'm going to hear that first. So refinance is a whole new mortgage, Typically, you'll get a, a better interest rate, so I'm going to say versus HELOC as well. Typically, with a refinance, you will get a lower interest rate than a HELOC. But you get a whole new mortgage. You got to start all over again. So what happens with a HELOC is you keep your existing mortgage, and now they add a second mortgage on the back of it. So say you owe 200000 If you refinanced, at a 90% LTV, I'm gonna show you in a minute, you have a whole new mortgage at that. If you got a HELOC, you still would owe 200,000, but now you have access to your equity, right? Up to a certain amount. So with the HELOC, you get, you get a second mortgage that, 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 that's subordinate to your, your first, and on a HELOC, you only pay on what you use, meaning, this is a line of credit, meaning they don't just give you the money, but you have access to tap into it and use it for whatever purchase, investment that you want to make out of that. And you only pay interest on the amount that you pull out. With the refinance, you get a whole new loan and you start paying from day one, or all of it. So that means you immediately better have a plan once you refinance. With the HELOC, you then have time to then execute and figure out whatever it is your strategy, your plan is. Now, when you are looking at a refinance or HELOC, the banks will offer you a LTV. What does LTV stand for? Loan to value. Loan to value. So if the banks say, hey, we'll give you on a refinance an 80% LTV, or say even for both, an 80% LTV. This is where most people get messed up, is they think, how much equity do we have here? <laughs> so if the bank gives you an 80% LTV, how much money you walk away with? You're wrong. You're wrong. It's not LTE, loan to equity. Ah, this is where most people get scared. Hey, hey, bro, I got 30 grand in equity, man. I'm ready to pull out and flip it. It's not just the equity value that you get the loan for. It's the value of the home. So what happens is if you get an 80% LTV and the property's worth 300, you got to take 80% of 300. 240. Eight times three is what? 24. $240,000 would be your new loan. So if you owe two hundred, dollars you got to pay that off. Which leaves you how much money? So out of your $100,000 equity, yeah, you got $100,000 equity. But if the bank only gives you an 80% LTV, you got to do the LTV, the loan of value of the value of the home at 80%. Subtract what you currently owe, because you got to pay off the old loan. They give you a whole new loan. you got to pay off the old one. And now the leftovers is $40,000 for you to work with now in your refinance. So that's a cash-out refinance. The bank gave you a whole new loan. And in that whole new loan, you now pulled out $40,000 of cash that is tax-free. Refinances are 100% tax-free. So to make it clearer for us, I'm going to do it again over here. Same thing. We're at 200, right? 200,000 and 300,000. 
if the bank gave us an 80% LTV on a HELOC, what that means is we still keep our $200,000 loan. They're going to give us 80% credit line based on the, on the, the 300, which is still what? 240. 240. So now you have a credit line of 40,000 you can tap into that you only pay on when you pull it out and use it. If you got a refinance, you have a new loan of 240,000. So now you're paying a, a refinance. Here's the refi. Here's the HELOC. So on the refi, you got a new loan of 240,000 that you're paying a, a lower interest probably than the HELOC. But you're paying on a 240 immediately. But because you paid off your old mortgage of 200, you got 40,000 cash that you have put to the side on a new mortgage. So if the bank now says, I'll give you, let's do another one. Same scenario. 300 and 200. I don't mind if you get your calculators out, notepads. I want you to learn today. If the bank says, hey, we'll do a 90% LTV, HELOC, versus refi, how much of a credit line do you have on the HELOC? 90% of 300 is 270. You owe 200, you have a $70,000 credit line on the HELOC. If on the refi, what is your new loan? 90% of 300, 270. You pay off your 200, you walk away, and you cash out $70,000 at a 90% LTV. That $70,000 is tax-free. You could then use that as a down payment or a cash purchase or to couple with someone else on a new investment. So just by owning a home, you create equity, or by buying strategically or marketing correctly or negotiating well, you can create equity and then tap into that equity through a tax-free home equity line of credit or refinance. And I gave you the pros and cons to each. New loan versus second mortgage. Cash out, you pay immediately. Credit line, you only pay on what you use.